Now let's practice a few questions together. Number four, is triangle X prime, Y prime, Z prime a reflection of triangle X, Y, Z across line G? So what we're looking for here is found back up here in the key concept. Remember, a reflection is a flip or a transformation that flips a figure across the line. The pre-image and the image are the same distance from that line of reflection, but on opposite sides. They have the same size and shape, but they're oriented differently. So does that match the description here of X, Y, Z and X prime, Y prime, Z prime? And the answer is yes. If you'll notice here, Y and Y prime are about the same distance from line G, okay, across that line. Same thing with Z and Z prime and X and X prime, okay? So it is the same shape and it is the same size and they are on opposite sides Of line G. Now let's take a look at the coordinate grid for questions 5 and 6. Number 5. Describe the reflection of figure EFGH. So you see EFGH, it's in red. Okay, so let me get my red pen out here and let's trace that. So here's EFGH back to E. So describe for me that reflection that you see in blue. Well, the reflection, take a look at F and F prime. How many units apart are F and F prime? They are two units apart which means the line that separates these two images is this line right here. Do you know what that line would be called? Well, it's the point where everything is on the y-axis at four, but the x number is changing. So this line is y equals four. Since the line y equals four, splits the distance between points F and F prime, we say that the line of reflection is Y equals four. Notice now that when I draw in Y equals four, that point F is one unit away and point F prime is also one unit away. That is what confirms for us that Y equals four is that line of reflection because F and F prime are the same distance away from that line. Now take a look at number six. Draw the image that would result from a reflection of the figure EFGH across the line X equals negative one. So where's the point X equals negative one? It's this point right here. And all the other points that would have X um, the x coordinate negative one are all these points going up or down from that x axis. So if I want to reflect the figure EFGH across the line x equals negative one, then what I need to do is I need to consider how far away each of these points is from that line and then draw them on the other side or the right side of x equals negative one. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take my uh, green pen in order to do that reflection. Notice that point H is only one unit from that line. So H prime will be also one unit from that line. Okay. Point G is also at the height of 2 on the y-axis, but it is 1, 2, 3 units away from that line. 
So from the line, we're going to go three units, one, two, three, and we'll call that G prime. Do the same thing with F. You have to go up to a height of three, and it's four units away. So from that line, I'm going to go up to the three, and one, two, three, four units over. So far, we've got H and G and G to F. Now let's look at E. Point E is at a height of one on the y-axis. And then we count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get to point E, which means from that line, I need to count over seven to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's your point E prime. So F connects there, as does H. So now I'm going to put this in black just to make sure that you can see those points. And my pen is not working very nicely for that. So let me try that again. We've got point H right there. Oops. Let me try this again. Hang on. All right, this is a little bit better, a little bit easier for you to see there. And I am going to erase the green dots on the left side so it makes it easier for you to see that picture. So here's my distance between G prime or E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, and then back to E. All right, let's move on. Now I'd like for you to try questions 7, 8, 9, 10, and number 13 on the back side of your page. And then come back and check your answers one at a time. If you're having trouble with this, please come see me before you move on. Check your ordered pairs for question 7. Remember, the general rule states that if you're reflecting across the y-axis, then your x-coordinate is the opposite in order to keep it the same distance from the y-axis, but on the other side. Your y-coordinate does not change. Number eight. These two triangles are not reflections of each other across the line that is given. If you look at the distance between b and b prime, it is not an equal distance from that line, so therefore this is not a reflection. This is another kind of transformation called a slide. All right, I hate to do this, but I need to go back to number seven. Um, I gave you those image points, but then I forgot to put it on the grid. So I'm going to show you where those A prime... B prime, and then C prime is going to be over here, and D prime is going to be right here. So your four points, when you connect them, will look something like that. All right, now that I've got that done, let's move on and skip over to number nine. Your friend gives you the graph of quadrilateral A, B, C, D and its image quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. What reflection produces this image? Well, the first thing that I did is I tried to map um, the distance from point B to point B prime and from point C, and you can see I'm kind of putting dots here, to point C prime. And what I noticed is that it didn't match up exactly on the y-axis. Instead, um, the halfway point was actually this line that I've traced out here in black that goes through the point x equals 1. So the reflection is across this line. And you probably can't read that, so I'm going to try that again. There we go. All right, moving on to number 10. 
The mistake that my friend made was that the points of reflection are not equal distance to the x-axis. So in part B, we need to describe what is the correct description of that reflection. This is actually a reflection across the line y equals negative 1. In that line, both g and g prime are three units away. So the line of reflection has to be the line where those points are equal distance from each other, but on opposite sides. And last, we have question 13. First, we need to be able to find the line x equals 1. Once you have identified the line x equals 1 on each graph, look for which one shows the points j and j prime, or r and r prime, an equal distance from that line x equals 1. That's going to give us our reflection. Choice B is the correct graph. You'll notice in this graph, points j and j prime are each three units away from that line of reflection. Points r and r prime are each four units away from that line of reflection. And points a and a prime are five units away from that line of reflection. For part b, the measure of angle a is 90 degrees, so the measure of angle a prime is also 90 degrees. Remember, the angles in a reflected figure are the same size. So we have the exact same size and the exact same shape. They're just oriented differently. Now you're ready to try some work on your own.